Ready? Yes. Welcome back to, on today's episode of Papa PJ brings you some of the best exotic car stories you've ever heard of. Today we are talking about three incredible cars that are very difficult or near impossible to fuck in. That's right, you heard it here first. I have tried to bang out chicks in these three cars and it is near impossible. Now, when I say near impossible, that means, that's right, for that guy basically out there who don't like that, it means that basically you can just get the tip in, but that's just about as far as you can go, just the tip. You know that feeling when you're sitting there and you're like, I'm just gonna put the tip in. Well, in these cars, that's about all you're about to put in, unless you're sitting on a 14 incher. So I'm taking a moment to reflect on the fact that I'm not sitting on a 14 incher. Anyways, back to uh, the three cars that we have tried to fuck in that have been near impossible to get anything but the tip in. And can you guess what number one is? It is half electric, so it makes you even feel like less of a man that you're driving a vacuum cleaner. And it is not a Tesla. Surprisingly, a Tesla is almost made to fuck because the whole car's plastic. So you can water it down after in case you got to do the fat chicken in there. But this particular car is the Fisker Karma. Now, you may have seen on my story that I had a Fisker Karma and of course I had to test out the grounds for how I felt about it. And so, yep, that didn't work out too well. Apparently the Fisker engineers did not account for the fact that you would ever want to get laid in a Fisker Karma. I mean, realistically, no woman should want to fuck you if you're driving a Fisker Karma or any level of vacuum cleaning products. While your woman may appreciate some of you out there that are giant pussies and vacuum your own homes, why are you laughing? Why do you always like Always laugh at me in the middle of this video. <laughs> no dignified human buys a box in case you forgot about that video. But no, seriously, like you're not getting laid if you vacuum your house. That's just the, the dumbest thing you can do. I was gonna say the gayest, but it wouldn't be appropriate. So it's pretty much the dumbest thing you could do. So. Disclaimer: We're not anti-gay. We're just telling you that. The Fisker Karmans just don't get you laid. That's how they engineered a center console. So it's like near impossible for anything but your ass to sit in the seat. And like nobody can like come over because the steering wheel's right there. It's just super difficult. So as far as when it comes to getting head, doable, but sex, near impossible. Now the next car, which is actually very bizarre because I never actually understood why they did this is a car that can get you laid a lot, and yet they make it near impossible. Where actually, I'm gonna say they make it completely impossible, and I'm gonna explain to you why. So then the next car is actually a McLaren. That's right, if you've actually thought in your life that you would get laid in a McLaren, you're absolutely right, except if you buy one with Senna seats. Now you may have seen that I had purchased a Senna, so that in itself is extremely hard to even get in and out, but no respectable person would have sex in a Senna because that in itself is a work of art and you wouldn't want, you know, to mess the car up. But a 600 LT with Senna seats, now that's a different story because that's a usable McLaren for poor people. So you buy a 600 LT and you put the Senna seats in it when you're struggling to buy a Senna. So that's how you make that, you justify those $40,000 seats. Now, don't feel bad. I once had one, I had it for like, probably like a month before I realized it was retarded. But nonetheless, the 600 LT with center seats is near impossible. Now I'll explain why. Because you see, when you're sitting in the 600 LT, now disclaimer here, if you're over 300 pounds, you ain't getting laid anyways, and you ain't sitting in a center. <laughs> but when you sit in the center seats and you're a normal weight person, you see the seats come up here so like they, they're up to here when you're in the seat. So if it up to here, that means if someone's trying to fuck you and they're sitting on top of you, like your cock would need to be like technically when it's hard, like here. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Dude, stop cracking. <laughs> what 
that's what I'm saying. Like, if your cock is here and the seat is here, then someone has to, like, fall on the dick. It doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't work well. So, <clears throat> so yeah, the McLaren Senna will get you laid, but near impossible to fuck in. Now, I would say near impossible, like I said, because the tip can get in there. Just the actual car, near impossible. And the third one, what was the third thing I decided that I was going to do? I forgot. I forgot what that car was. Because, I mean, I've, I've pounded in probably every fucking exotic that I've had. That's like crazy. That's a lot of exotics, too. Now, just before someone thinks I'm a man whore, that's not cool. I've, I've pounded a, a lot of the same chicks in the same cars. So, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Yeah, that's, well, so the Aventador variant, like regardless of SVJ or not, race seat or not, is like, it's one of these things where you can do it, like, okay, so I've done it, except that here's the difficult part with the SVJ or the SV or any of these cars, is that it's not that you can't do it, it's that if you're doing it while driving, you're definitely dying. Looking. I think you guys just I'm gonna, the finger. I'm gonna watch the replay tape. Like, <laughs> Like, there's no way you can do it while you're driving and not die. Now, when you're stopped, it's possible. No, but seriously, like, the, the event of are doable. You just got to be, like, super parked. And you can't be banging a fat chick. Because if it's a fat chick, her ass getting stuck behind the steering wheel. So it's got to be, like, a... It's got to be like a hundred pound or less, you know? Like if you're fucking like an 18 year old that's like 18 to like 21, maybe like weighing like 90 to 110 and like less than like 5'2", you're good to go in the Aventador. That's doable. But that's really assuming you're not too tall either because then like, then you're fucked again. So it's doable, but again, subjective to who you're doing. See what happened there? For those of you that are believers in that superpower, the lights shut off. My shadow just came out right there. You got the worst out of me. So anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Papa PJ Educates You on the Exotic Car World as I twirl around. And again, if you haven't had the experience of fucking in an exotic, well, that's your fault. So fix it, get exotic car hacks, and uh, learn why you don't have to pay a lot of money to get exotic cars and get laid. Oh, and basically, please don't hate me for telling you that you need to get an exotic to get laid or come up with something. Just like the video. Be the sweet guy deep inside that you're not. Just be sweet. Leave a good comment. Let me know what car you've had sex in that you're proud of. And if you're over 300 pounds, don't comment at all. Just hit the gym.